Phil Davis replacing Phil May at lock, and Emir Lewis, the Welsh flanker, moving to number eight. Changes two at hooker, where Andrew Lamerton replaces David Fox, and at fullback, where at Lynethley field Hugh Williams, normally a fly half. Yayan Evans and Lawrence Delaney, the only two survivors from the side who beat the Grand Slam Wallabies eight years ago. The Wallabies appear to be feeling the effects of a punishing tour of duty and in an attempt to restore confidence have picked what must be close to their test side. An experiment at halfback with Tim Horan, their outstanding centre, attempting to replace the seemingly irreplaceable Michael Lyon at fly half. Tim Kelleher comes in to partner Jason Little in the centre and with Phil Cairns continuing as captain in Lyon's absence, the tourists field their test pack. Your commentators, Brynmore Williams and Lynn Davis. The scene is set. Can the Scarlets add another verse to their famous club song of Sospanba? Gavin claims the back of the line ball, though. Indeed, he protected well as well. Kameshi the put in, and suddenly a strani crowd that's been the most silent ever, probably during a touring game, suddenly gets agitated, noisy. And can it lift and indeed the heave of a pushover scrum? The ball quickly released, or oh, the running off the ball. Yeah, Evans, brilliantly done. Australian rules. That's typically them defeated or undone by their own half history. Yeah, Evans does to the Australians what they've done to the world for the last 15 months. Brilliantly done. Breathtaking rugby. Yeah, Evans, the games of things right. Superb pass by Rupert Moon. Colin Stephen just hanging on to the ball. A dummy run by the centre. Yeah, Evans' his timing was superb, it has to be said. Uh, Stevens from this position surely adds a further two points to Australia's wall. But effective it was. Three points to Australia. Takes the tally up to nine. And you can blame the players for not wishing to get the game moving but uh, some responsibility on the referee as Colin Stevens this time strikes it the whole place goes wild three points as uh, suddenly the whole place erupts it's one point ahead for the Scarlets and another piece of history perhaps being repeated here not great scrum ball by Tanethi, although Rupert Moon does well to get it out, and out at hands have a tendency for Tanethi to create history. I wonder if this is history. Colin Steen is not striking it well, but it's between the posts. Well, scenes suddenly changing here as Tim Kelleher delivered awful ball, makes an even bigger mess of it, but we're back to a scrum off the... And even greater drama as Tanethi offered a scrum within sight of that Australian line. Quick ball, surely, could be profitably used here. Moon Stevens, the drop kick and goal! Repeat it! Yet again, Stevens left about six feet there. Oh dear me, what scenes here. The crowd delirious. Club Rugby Tanethi, Tanethi Rugby Club. It says it all. Kelleher goes for the break, fine tackle, Lynn Jones is in position to deny second phase, is it on its way, Dan Crowley wrestles, the policeman releases, again the chip ahead from Marty Robeck, brilliantly picked up by Hill Williams, weaves a little pattern, Colin Stevens thumps a comprehensive touch finder, it's still in play, Yeyan Evans shadows Tim Horan, the outside half has nowhere to go, indeed finds himself in guff, Moon adds his weight, Colin Stevens referees it, Fred Howard penalises, it's all over, it's all over, Tanefi repeat their achievements of past years. A full-time score here as dramatic scenes take over Strody Park, Tanefi 13, 